Are you... <laughs> Are you serious? That zombie is riding a chicken? <laughs> oh my gosh, you've seen it all, guys. You've seen it all. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And remember if you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button for future videos and notifications. If you haven't seen my previous video, we've actually started making a massive, massive aquarium and it's gonna look awesome. So I'll show you real quick, uh, just in case you haven't seen it. This is basically it. So what we're gonna do here is pretty much make this an open room. This is gonna be basically where we put all our chests and storage, right? We're gonna put a bunch of fish in here and everything's gonna look awesome. Also, I'm gonna start introducing mod videos um, to my channel because apparently, you know, you gotta feed the YouTube algorithm and um, I think Let's Plays aren't good enough. I'll still be doing them, don't get me wrong. Um, but I think mods will start to be introduced. So if you do have any mod ideas, let me know. Um, and we'll make that happen. So, uh, in the meantime, what we're going to do is start making our first, um, scaffolds. Made our first scaffolds. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. So how do we work? Oh man, that's so awesome. That is so awesome. <laughs> Oh, yay for scaffolds. That's weird, but cool at the same time. Okay, so we've obviously, we're starting to dig the top now, and uh, we're definitely going to have to move these chests. So what we'll do... Wow, uh -oh. <laughs> so now we're going to have to move the, our chests from upstairs to another temporary location, just so we can clear all that out. And, um, and then that way we can open up the top of our fish tank fish tank. We're moving. We are moving. This is no more. <laughs> Let's see guys. Our house is empty. Our little... This was... Let's take a moment to appreciate this was our humble beginnings. Our humble beginnings. Are you... <laughs> Are you serious? That zombie is riding a chicken? <laughs> oh my gosh, you've seen it all, guys. You've seen it all. A chicken... A zombie riding a chicken in the middle of an ocean. Oh my gosh. What next? You guys are weird. <laughs> Oh gosh. Man, scaffolding makes things ten times easier. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. We shall carry on. Um. Oh no. Okay. I don't know how I didn't die, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. This used to be a little room. It's gone. Ah, it's gone. So we'll fix this up a bit later, but what we'll do is we'll line the bottom here with sand. We'll lay down some kelp. All right, sand's laid. Now we gotta just put up the, um, we'll put down the water and we're good to party. Time to fill her up, guys. Time to fill her up. All right, guys, so if you've been a long time viewer of mine, You'll know or remember how much it was a pain for me to figure out how to fill this out. If it doesn't make sense to you, check out like I think episode four or five or something. You'll see when this was all empty and being dug out. So we're going to have to pretty much repeat the process here. Um, and what that entails is basically we need to put down, we basically need to put down dirt here. Right? We put down a layer of water on top and then we break down the dirt and then all the water comes rushing down and we fill this out. There's no other way to do it. That's like, you know, <laughs> Minecraft water physics. But yeah, so that's what we're going to have to do. Um, so now, pretty much get all our water 
Now what we do is we get out a shovel that we don't have. And we let it rain. That's the fish tank filled up. Uh, we'll put fencing around it and everything, clean up all this, level it all out. Um, but let's see how it looks from inside. Hello. Boom. It'll look nicer once there's fish and stuff. So. Huh. Oh, Enderman. What's up, man? Alright, relax. Done. So the next thing we're going to do is... Basically, we're going to go down and plant some of these kelp thingies. Alright, we'll blob some kelp down. That'll be enough. Look at that. So we'll fix all this up. This will probably be timber. Or we might continue this on. We'll see. But this is our... <laughs> this is our aquarium, guys. We're going to put some fish down in a minute. So... Um, Alright, let's find ourselves a fish. And this one's in honor of Loot J for the idea of doing an aquarium. So... Um, Let's find a nice fish and uh, we'll do that. Remember, if you do have any suggestions or anything like that, I'll, I'll, you know, credit for you like I have in this case. So, let's find some interesting fish. I don't know where to find different types of fish, but... Hey, Turdy. How you going, buddy? <laughs> That's so awesome. Alright, let's get some fish. Oh, come here. Alright, cool. Bucket of Call of Duty. <laughs> Alright guys, time to name these fish. Um, so we'll bang them over the head with a hammer to give them a name, because that's what you do in real life. <laughs> okay, so in honor of Luchi's good idea, we'll name one of them Luchi. I know he wanted his fish to be greeny, but we're also going to do that as well. So this one will be greeny. And then we've got shark. So that's all for now. I know that there's more fish to be named, um, but we will get we will get them. So um, in another episode, well, probably the next, we'll see. But I just want to get this aquarium started. So what we'll do is uh, we'll put this fish in the tank and introduce them to their new home. All right, fish, welcome to your new home. There's the first fish, which is Lucha. Hey, Lucha, how you going? <laughs> And by the way, we'll, like, we'll put some tropical fish and all that sort of stuff as well. They're not just going to be these Call of Duty fish, cod. <laughs> there we go. Our fish is in the tank, guys. And they're named, so they're not going to despawn either. And we'll go tropical fish hunting soon. I don't know where to find them. If you let me know in the comments where to find them, that'll be appreciated. Otherwise, I will Google. Let's see how our fish look. There we go. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? The name tags don't come up unless you're really close to them, which I find really annoying. So if there's some sort of mod I can download where their name tags always appear, that'd be cool. Because like, I don't like that they're not appearing because I want to know which fish we're looking at. The next step is we're pretty much going to make platforms here going around and our chests are going to go here as well. So when we look for items, we're also um, checking out the fish. Isn't that just absolutely wonderful? There you go. Good morning, fish. How was your sleep? Did you enjoy your sleep in your new tank? Next thing I want to do is make a lectern. Or lectern, lectern, however you pronounce it. Um, because I want to put a to-do list in the actual game. And that way we can put a list in game in terms of what we need to do next what our plans are, what our goals are, etc. So yeah guys, if you want your fish in the tank, give us some names. I know there's more names to do, we'll do it in another episode. And I uh, will go catch some fish and put them in- where are they? Fish? 
fish. Where did our fish go? Fish. Ah, good. Good. I thought they ran away. <laughs> ah, there you are. Safe and sound. Awesome. So, this is our ideas book, and what we'll do... Any other ideas, guys? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And uh, we'll put that in our to-do list. So, next thing we'll do is we'll put up our different levels, as we've discussed. We'll go from there. So, um, house is looking good. I know you're probably itching for me to get this gold. We'll do oh, there's another thing I forgot. Looking at the gold. Can you guess what it is before I write it down? Bridge, rail, track, and course. Dunskies. Also, comment below what you want me to do next, and whichever has the most upvotes will take priority. Um, otherwise, I'll just continue doing what I'm doing. Oh, and another thing. <laughs> Pet creeper in indoor pool lobby. We're going to get a pet creeper, guys. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's possible to name tag a creeper. <laughs> because obviously when you get close, them will explode. I mean, getting them in the actual... In the scenery or the environment, there's not going to be too difficult. Like, we'll figure out a way. But I want to know if we can name tag it. I mean, I'd imagine you'd have to run past it. And Oh, we also need to put some new names or additions onto the bridge as well. So we'll do that too. But let's get our fence posts. I don't know if we should put the fencing around here. Or, yeah, we'll do it that way actually. So we'll do the rest of the fence, um, but that's just for now. Um, just so like we don't have mobs and stuff jumping in. What do you reckon? Keep the fence or remove it? You let me know. Whichever gets the most, um, you know, popular opinion, then we'll do it. But I don't know. I'm impartial. Please do let me know, though. I don't know. I feel like we might not put the fence, but yeah, just let me know. And before we go up the bridge, just a quick salute to everyone that's supported me. I appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. So, to our latest additions, we have Crafty Room 858. There we go. Welcome to the wall, guys. It's growing big and strong, and without your support, I uh, wouldn't be who I am right now and in the future. So, thank you again. Uh, your support is always, always appreciated. And remember, if you want to be on the wall as well, uh, check out the description. That'll have the information on how to be. If you want to name the fish, uh, once again, description. And uh, yeah, we'll be good to party. But anyway, guys, I think we achieved a lot today. So I hope you do enjoy. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button. Your support's always appreciated. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button too. Other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. And until next time, be awesome.